A moving story now from the war in Ukraine. How one American family living in Poland opened up their home to more than 20 refugees. Maggie really has the details. Good morning, Maggie. Hey, George, good morning. Yeah, the family told us that living in America, the war can feel far away, but when they moved to Poland, all of a sudden it was right next door, and they knew they had to do everything they could to help their new neighbors. OT and Julie Benson moved to Krakow, Poland, from the suburbs of Detroit for work less than two months ago. You're looking at new pictures of evacuations that are happening right now. As the family of 10 began their new life abroad, war was breaking out across the border in Ukraine, and OT knew he couldn't just turn a blind eye. When you're staring refugees who have been traveling for many days and they have nothing but the clothes on their backs, you don't really make a plan. You just say yes, and I'll figure it out. It was at church during those first few days when OT decided to heed the bishop's call to house Ukrainian refugees in his own home. And over the past four weeks, the Benson's home has been a refuge for at least nine families, some staying for a night, others for weeks, at one point packing the house with 21 people. You just kind of adapt on the fly, almost like an open house. Our job is just to try to make them feel safe and make them feel like they're uh, with us that they are like at their home. So that's what I, we are trying to do. And every day see them happy and smiling, I think that is the best reward. The new family is adding to an already full house. Five of the couple's eight children moved with them to Poland. At first I was a little um, nervous, kind of, because our family is really big, but then we had our first group of people stay with us and they were so amazing and so kind and genuine and it was it was really humbling to see them when we visit Oksana Timchenko and her four daughters are living there she says her girls miss home they miss their dad who had to stay behind but here they are happy they treat her children like their own the family's communicating using Google Translate and the universal language of laughter the kids playing cards together eating ice cream watching cartoons. But OT says there have also been hard times. We had boys that would be here in the backyard playing and they would see a plane fly over and react in a very uh, you know, scared way, screaming. And we said, what are they saying? And the other kids would say, oh, rocket, rocket. It looks like something they saw a few weeks ago. He says it's not only the refugees that are changing from these experiences, it's his own kids as well. I think they come quickly to the realization that this is a different place, a different time, and it makes you grow up a lot faster. Which for me as a dad, I'm glad that they can do that, that they can see that. And I want them to understand what it means to serve others and help others. And guys, we asked OT and Julie how long they could keep going like this. How long can they keep living with that packed house? And they both said immediately, without any hesitation, as long as it takes. Guys, what an example they are setting. Big okay, hearts. Maggie, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.